For me, we we spike my interest about you is yeah, is how outspoken you are, right? <laughs> you know they hide your feelings. You say it straight. The way we day your body, that's so you go talk up. Yeah. And sincerely, it's not it's not easy to actually find real people around here anymore. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's because of social media or the level at which people are being. Um, breed everybody just a fake mm. fake 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 some people their life on social media is totally different from you know their real their, yeah their real life but it, it is insane but mm. i guess that's the world we live in so we just have to you know, mm. have to cope with it I yeah mean. you know bro being real is actually costly mm. very very costly you know it will cost your peace of mine <laughs> you know it will cost being real you know it will cost you relationship with people huh. you know it will cost you a lot of things you know it will cost you your reputation as well because huh. majority don't like real people uh you know how i'm not trying to be religious but christianity huh. describes hell fire as a broad road and then the road that leads to paradise is very tiny narrow yeah so very narrow you know yeah. so what that basically means is that where there's truth there's never crowd hmm. you know where there's lies there will be crowd, crowd. Hmm. even on social media you can say it yeah if you're being <laughs> real if you're you know you're you get what i'm saying you, you don't have the numbers you don't have the numbers yeah but if you're being fake, the, the, the cheapest things, you know, get the most following, the most views, mm -hmm. the, you know, the, everything. You yeah. get what I'm saying? So that, yeah. that's what it means. Yeah. As a yeah. matter of fact, I think that's, ac that's actually what they used to actually reward the algorithm itself, right? Mm. And I think they purposely do it like that. Yeah. And before we're going to start to see the effect of those reward, yeah. now like five, ten years to this time. Because right now, you reward crap bullshit yeah tracking yeah you know mm -hmm. bra mm -hmm. boobs <laughs> that's that's those are the numbers that's yeah. those are where people put their numbers yeah. right yeah now a doctor mm. a lawyer mm -hmm. you know that actually speaks sense mm. right mm. you know you know go get at track, all, you know go get traction at all right at all so or even in the industry where you have real talented actors yes you know they don't get the following but the ones who actually do other nonsenses and then they just carry the name acting or actor the title actor, actor. along with it those are the ones that people see and celebrate the most wow. you know yeah uh not, not only in nigeria you know hmm. i have some few people that i respect you know and when i check them they also don't have that much following you know hmm. because they they live true. a real life you yeah, know true for instance let's talk about someone like idris elba you know yeah idris elba is you know you know is, is a giant you know in the world you yeah. know what i'm saying mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. he has five million following mm -hmm. you know wow. it, it just even increased i think maybe to about eight million or something i checked mm -hmm. recently mm -hmm. you know but it it, it drags you know for yeah. the, the for world sexiest man like you know that. what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know look at like uh, tyson beckford you know yeah i don't even think tyson now has up to maybe one million following or something and that's like that's number one male model in the world you know that's someone that you know the likes of me and people even before me looked up to so like man yeah. i want to be like, like tyson this, like this dude yeah real bad guy you know real model mm -hmm. real hot man sexiest man you know but if he doesn't do some you get what i'm saying like yeah. you know live the instagram life you know or the the social media right, lifestyle yeah. you know mm -hmm. i don't want to say fake you know because even brands these days you know don't endorse people based on their personality anymore in america everybody is about the numbers yeah they just want to look you know, at the numbers it's just yeah. numbers you know yeah. and it doesn't make sense you know is it about quality or quantity you know so that's a question we should be asking ourselves now hmm this generation is about quantity no longer about quality fake people are celebrated more people who are doing wrong things are celebrated more so the numbers of the real people doing real things are slimming down you know because <sighs> you'll find some real people also want to i mean you know you saw recently i started using filter for my videos yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
because <laughs> <laughs> that day I won't laugh die. <laughs> you just say you just hold the phone and say eh eh ah it's big. You know because there's no day that I don't look good. Mm. But I did professional modeling in South Africa since 2008, even before Big Brother Africa, and even after, right? Oh yeah. So I've always been a a hunk, you know. I've always been a a super attractive person, you know. Uh, my shoes can cause a stare in a room, you know, distract everybody. They'll be like, "Come, man, I want to look at that shoe." From way back, even mm. when I was buying from downtown and stuff like that, I've always been out- outstanding wherever yeah. I go to. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yeah, I mean, you're a sexy man. You know, extremely thank you. extremely <laughs> sexy. Thank you. But I go to a, I've ne- when I go to a photo studio, my agency has arranged with a photographer that I was coming to do a test shoot, you know, blah blah blah. So the test shoot is for my portfolio and to send to clients so that they see what I look like. Mm-hmm. But most of the time, I go for an audition, get booked for a job. So any c- camera on me, it's big money. Hmm. Sometimes one job can feed me for like three months or more. Wow. Some jobs pay me for like two years. Boom, social media came. Everybody's a model. <laughs> <laughs> you know, everybody now has yeah. swag. You know, even the people that, you know, back in the days you come back home and mm-hmm. they will be looking at you like, ah, oh, you know, they, they, they know, you get what I'm saying? But yeah. all of a sudden now they have more swag because mm-hmm. that makes it easier for them. To me, it's cheap. Mm. You know, I made it on the bigger screen. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you have yeah. to go for an audition. You can go for an audition three months sometimes as a model and not get booked. Competing with models from Brazil, Jamaica, Canada, America, Cape Town, uh, Angola, Congo, Cameroon, like all over the world oh, to yeah. get one job. You know you are special. Mm. I made money with my nails, with my hair, everything. Wow. But today now, if I don't do a video of me the way i dress and walk and all that mm-hmm. you know then i'm not a model anymore man come on man <laughs> so we don't have a choice the way they've made it because brands would leave someone who actually has the profile the, the personality, pa- the personality yeah. that can represent their brand so well mm-hmm. they would rather go for the numbers yeah. and they are forgetting that and an endorsement can actually bring numbers true it, there are a lot of big brands that I don't want to mention now yeah. that if I can just get a, an endorsement with them now, boom, and then we'll do a campaign. Mm-hmm. That automatically puts me out there. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. Look yeah. at what happened to Austin JJ Okocha. Yes. Some of the children of this generation know Alex Wobi. Yeah. But they don't know Okocha. They don't know Okocha. Mm-hmm. But Okocha is a legend. Do you get what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. But look at what that advert did for him. Now, these children, even if you don't, you'll be like, who is uh, that man? Yeah, then your father will tell you the story. Mm-hmm. Like the children of nowadays need to ask, ask questions from their parents or their elders about some certain people. people yeah. Yeah. You feel me? Mm. Yo, bro, man. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so you being a model, you've yeah. been an international model since yeah. 2008. And yeah. you've been, you know, you've been places. Yeah. How did Big Brother Africa came into play? Okay. So... Uh, you know, I, I was doing modeling, doing modeling. You know, you've been, th- there's something you will do for a while and you feel like you want to grow into something bigger, right? Yeah. So, although being a model, you know, was really big back in the days, you know, especially when you're a model in South Africa. Mm-hmm. The, the Niger- models from Nigeria, you know, they will tell you what it meant then. I don't know about now. That, yeah. Oh, models in essay, it's big, you know. Yeah. So, but at this time now I've done that, you know, we've, we don't do fashion, I mean, we don't do fashion with tire. We don't do TV commercials plenty, billboards, everything, you know, okay. So what is new again? What What is the new thing that I can pop that will make you, you know? Mm-hmm. So I wanted to come home, you know, to do Nollywood. Oh, okay. So I met, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that time, you know, so. That's, that, that's if you feel me. That's not a very interesting story, right? You know, yeah, it, it, well, you know, it, it has its own part. But most people that I know that will say, I actually wanted to go home, you know, and get into the yeah. Um, after a couple of years, if they give you their story, yeah, yeah bro, that. man, it's it's, <laughs> it's 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 you know somehow. Mm-hmm. So the the people that I met in South Africa that told me come home, come home, because um uh, somehow I have a uh, obvious potentials that people can see me or spend few times with me and they just know that I tire. 
this is what you should do, this is what you should do. And it always points in the direction of what I want or what God wants for me. Uh-huh. So I met some top dogs in Nollywood in South Africa at that time. We were Chilean. They were like, come home now, come on, do Nollywood. We need men like you, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Okay. So I was like, okay, cool. So I came home in 2013. On getting to Nigeria, went for this audition, went for that audition, blah, blah, blah. The people that said, come home, we'll help you eventually, you know, wouldn't yeah. turn up, all yeah, those kind of yeah, things, yeah, you know. So, but I have a friend, you know, uh, Uti, okay, you know. Uti Wachuku. Uti Wachuku, uh, you know. Shout out to Uti. You know, uh, we used to be very, very close. You get what I'm saying? Oh. We used to be really, really close. And um, we're still very, very cool, you know, but we used to be, you very, know what I yeah, mean yeah, by very, very close. Yeah. So, he wanted me to be successful, you know, and he was supportive. You know, but he kept on saying it that no, Tayo, this is not how you should come back home. You know, because mm. he he knew me in South Africa. You, you understand yeah, what I'm so saying? He like, knows so the, he knows the level you are. You get what I'm and, saying? Yeah. So it will be like, this is not how you should come back home. You need to do something that will give you, you know, that name. You get what I'm saying? That will make people at home. They won't be asking questions that who is that guy? Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. So we attempted Tinsel that year. Oh, okay. You know. <laughs> I went for that audition and the man was sitting, there were some chicks on the bed, you know, it was at a hotel, Protea Hotel. Okay. And then I entered <laughs> and I expected the treatment that we get yeah. in South Africa mm-hmm. where they would say, oh, hi, Tyre, you're welcome. <laughs> Take a seat. Do you want coffee or something? You know, with respect and all yeah. that. And before you do your audition, but I got into this one. There, this man was sitting and he was singing, Sexy Mama, <laughs> Yaka yeah, Jojo you. Mama. And then all the girls on the bed as well, you know, they were just there, gisting and pressing, pressing their, their phones. Phone. And I was supposed to act. Act what? You get what I'm saying? You know, I mean, really? it, it's, well, you, you get what I'm saying? It, it's it doesn't audition it do, it's not done hotel, like man, that no. anywhere. Come on, man. It is not done. No, no. Even if they can use a hotel bedroom. But what I'm saying is that it, it's not done anywhere. It's lack of respect. Yeah. You know, for you to say you are singing sexy mama. I'm, you, do you understand what I'm saying? In South Africa, whether you are a runner, maybe now you they carry microphone or whatever, everybody is respected. Yeah. You know, so because I come from for an audition, I mean, you don't, you know, I I had no clue what I was supposed to do. So everything was just looking jaga jaga, man. I was like, yo, <laughs> so I had to go back to essay. You just went in and stepped that, out. That was, I did. Well, I don't even know, but it was a mess. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, let, let's not forget the fact that mm. at that time as well, I'm not a magical actor. You get what I'm saying? Not yeah. like maybe I was. You know, I wasn't yeah. a child actor or so, whatever, yeah. you know, so you feel me, I was just trying, trying to get to, another yeah. thing, you yeah. know, so maybe some other people may have played along and it will work for them, yeah. you know, maybe if something like that happens now at the level that I'm in now, yeah, maybe, maybe I will not, have, but yeah. at that time, you just, I'm used to that, hi Tyre, how you doing, you know, okay. whether <laughs> you will get the job or not, you will still get, they will still give oh, you the um, respect, thank, thank you, we'll, we'll get, get back, back to you, you. That, yeah. you know, we respect mm-hmm. that kind of thing, so anyway, I went back to SA, so, but in 2009, I tried Big Brother Africa audition for the first time. The following year, the following year, the following year, different stories happened. We can't start talking about it now. Wow. But luckily, in 2014, 14. yeah. that time now, I knew that I needed this thing. And it was not going to be another person's but mine that year. So. I was ready to give it my all. I didn't even stay in South Africa to do my audition. I flew down here. I wanted to go to the grassroots. Oh yeah. To tackle with the I mean to tackle this, you know, stuff and mm-hmm. get it. And my brother, man, I got my audition. I passed every stage on merit. Wow. There was no stage. Of and there my was audition. no there was no connection that I know this person <laughs> how was, now? You know. I would not rob Uti you know of the fact that he was supportive mm. do you understand what i'm saying mm-hmm. the moment the dates the year before uti was in south africa right mm-hmm. that time i obtained a form for big brother africa and then i filled it for seven days i didn't want to make mistake i fasted for three days i want <laughs> spiritual backing <laughs> <laughs> Next thing, now the same with Tikari head, come and say, <laughs> we were bowling, you know, just, you know, bowling yeah. around South Africa. It was after Uti left, before I now called the person that 
would have told me about the audition date. And I called him, ah, bros, how far now? He said, ah, ah, you don't go for the audition. Because <laughs> he knew I, I picked I, the form. Yeah, yeah. He, knew, he, he knew I was waiting for this thing, but I just got carried away. Wow. So when that stuff happened, that I need, man, I missed this year again. I busted crime and I started to cry, you know. Wow. Then I called Uti. That time it was the days of BBM, you know. So Uti was the one consoling me. Sorry, brother. You know, there's another year. Don't worry. Mm-hmm. He started sending me books to read, you know, to motivate myself. Blah blah blah. But so the following year, like this, he took it upon himself to, make to sure tell me the moment he time. knew about the date. Wow. So he told me that. Then I came to Nigeria for the audition right mm-hmm. so as friends you know we will talk you get what i'm saying like yeah. there will be gist of like mm-hmm. oh you know you get what i'm saying like you know to get this thing you know just be yourself that kind you get what i'm yeah, saying that yeah. kind of that mm-hmm. so that's just it wow but i can swear with ogun with shogo <laughs> with oya all the oracles of africa that i had nobody wow. that put me on big brother africa except someone did it behind me uh, you know. and i didn't know wow or i you know that you, you know that you, you can receive favors you know from yeah, you know yeah. in different yeah. ways you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Say mm-hmm. Le, you, uh, yeah. help yeah. Yeah. you get what i'm saying yeah. but yeah, i did not know anyone that i called to say please how far now uh, help me push it. how now one guy you know before i left home i i was from oyo Mm-hmm. You know, you get what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. I'm not from. I can't say I'm an Ikeja boy or Mole boy or Ogba boy. One to one thing, nothing like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I didn't really know that much people. The only people I knew, I knew some top people, maybe some political people, um, mm-hmm. who used to come to SA. You know, and then I host them and show them around yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But as far as entertainment isn't you know i would have entered nollywood straight up if mm-hmm. it was yeah, that easy, easy you know yeah. so so, yeah, here, here so that was go. how big brother africa mm-hmm. happened wow so i needed that break i needed it just the, the based platform on merit. so i came home <laughs> people that met me at the audition knew i was the one yeah the, the, the <laughs> because the, the swag is different you know my my <laughs> it's different <laughs> my my um how can I? My fellow Nigerian housemate, Lillian Afegba is her name. Yeah, Lillian Afegba, yeah. Yeah, when we met in the house, when we go into the house and she saw me, she was like, I knew it was going to be you. I said, how did you know? She said, our friends were in the same audition, sure. this thing with me. So they told her that there was one guy at the audition. <laughs> we believe that guy would be the guy. You get what I'm saying? So it was my time. That's it. And uh, I mean, people actually showed up for you though like people really love you in the house <laughs> like we actually thought you are going to win <laughs> <laughs> well, well I, I think for people we think we, we think you are a winner though i won yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but let's not trigger things you get what i'm saying uh, this is the moment to be grateful you know uh-huh. recently i had an outburst you know of emotions you get what i'm saying i uh-huh. was expressing myself i don't have time to make enemies with anybody uh-huh what is coming is bigger than what we have conquered already you get what i'm saying you know i have a lot of things that i'm doing you understand what i'm saying yeah which involves um which requires good relationship with everybody i don't have that time to say one to one thing you know but at that moment i needed to come out i needed to say it so that my chest will be you know my mind and body everything will be light you know so the moment that is done I'm happy. Well, why did it you take know, you? Why, why did it take you so long to put it out? Because I mean, 2014, 2015, it's <laughs> it's like I've been putting seven it years. out. But, <laughs> but <laughs> this one that you did this year, like that outreach this year, I felt like hmm, for him to have keep that f- for so long. Yeah, there must have been a level of maybe a f- frustration. Or yeah. why did you think okay, it's time to say this? I mean, these are, you know, I've had people, I've had small, small individuals who have wronged me. You will not hear me come out and talk about it. I do my own pains on my own, Hmm. you know, but this, you know, uh, the major, you know, like the the organization and the particular person, you get what I'm saying? Hmm. 
you know, these are not people that you can just, you know, step up to anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be careful. You have to, you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, true. There, there was, uh, you know, I've always expressed myself uh, among friends, among people, wherever I am. Just don't mm. ask me. I will say my mind. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So eventually, it could have still gone around one I way or the other. Maybe someone will go and yeah. gossip and yeah. maybe say yeah. it the wrong way or however. Mm-hmm. Because this thing, they kill me inside for many years. So, you mm. know, it's like pressure. You know, they, oh, if I do this thing, these people now, maybe they know can't book me again. Maybe they will come begin to ruin my career. Maybe yeah. they will come begin to block me for here or block me for there. Oh, what if they decide to do Big Brother Africa All Stars? Then the next thing, they don't want to take me because I expressed myself, you know, blah, blah, blah. Or this other person. What if this, this, this? You know, now a powerful man. What if you send these people? You know, that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. And then there's this pressure, you know, pushing everything down your life. But they pay you. Mm. I'll go to the gym in front of the mirror. I'm angry, like, yo, man, I got to say this thing. I got to say this thing. Mm. And it wouldn't let me move forward. Mm. Mm. So eventually, man, I'm like, you know what? Yeah, just let me go. Yeah. You know, till I'm done. That's it, That's man. It. You know, so I did it. And the moment I did it, I became really, really free. Relief. Once I'm, once I'm, once I'm, I have the opportunity to express myself, I'm good. Mm. That's it. So I did that, and I'm happy. You did, know. Did you get Did you get any feedback from? There can't be a feedback. Let me tell you something. If w- everything that I spoke about happened in front of the people, true. my witnesses are the people. True, <laughs> true, true. You get what I'm saying? People yeah. watch the show. People know the season. Mm-hmm. You know, every day today inside the lift when I was coming here, now I still met someone who saw me. I was like, tire. Oh wow! I didn't know you were this big, you know that kind of thing, you know. Wow. And that's our own expression of seeing me for the first time. Yeah. yeah. It happens every day. I go to places uh, where maybe I need something. I don't know anybody there. I just go there. The moment my face shows up, I'll see someone that be like, "Eh, will be your dad for that year, you know? <laughs> <laughs> whether your mama, whether your grandma, yeah, whether your, your snow, um, <laughs> whether you know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you will be able to say ah, in my family this person yeah. that year because man. You know, a good person does not need to say I'm a good person. Huh. Even being real and all that, you know, you don't have to say I'm real, real. I'm real. Yeah. But I know I'm myself. Huh. I may not be good for you. I may not be real to you. Yeah. But I am myself. I will not rob myself of being myself anytime. Yeah. Nothing, you know. nothing actually yeah. determines good or bad. Yeah. Depends on your perspective yeah. of yeah. how you see the person. And so. that's what I eat till today. Hmm. Unfortunately, like I said, it's costly hmm. because... The same way I have some someone uh, so many people loving me till today is the same way I have so many people who have never met me. They don't know <laughs> anything about me, you know. But they can still they just be like, ah, I don't like that guy. <laughs> so full of himself, you know. Yeah. He made all, so, someone said something on Instagram one day and said he made himself, you know, ah, that guy is too full of himself. He made every other housemate feel so small. And I'm like, it's a competition, idiot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> was I supposed to make them feel big <laughs> when Anthony Joshua is in the ring of boxing? Would he make his other opponent big? Would he make them feel big? No, mm. you make them feel small. It's a competition. They must mm. see me and tremble. And that's what it was. People who love me, love me so much because I was myself. Till today, bro, I still, I go jam fans, we go boss cry. Say, tire. You know, because yeah, yeah. My, my own... The love they have for me is religious. You know, it 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 it, 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 it eats you know through the bones. You yeah, know what especially I'm saying? And, and I think that is actually the first Big Brother thing that that really, that really gave buzz in Nigeria. Yeah. That, that's like the first major yeah. one. So a yeah. whole lot of people paid attention. Yeah. And it was like it was like um Afcon. Yeah. You know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It, yeah, it was like Afcon. Everybody exactly. supports their country. Yeah. You, know, you were representing Nigeria. So that's it, bro. Was, so that's it. So the 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 level at which big brother africa um operated yeah. compared to big brother niger is it is it different <laughs> so much difference we're not mates those are the things people won't like me for because i always say the truth are we mates if you are playing for a imba or uh, with someone that played in chelsea are you the same no 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 let's be realistic <laughs> bro you get what i'm saying mm, yeah I get, we're I not get mates we can't be mates Two people out of a country versus 20 something people out of a country. Are we mates? No. If they start Big it's Brother different. Africa today, I say 
quote me anywhere, repeat this anywhere. Tyre Fadino is saying this and I will say it anyway. If they start Big Brother Africa today, Big Brother Nigeria will enter relegation immediately. I see Leon Logbo, Nile Dile Kute. I have a lot of Big Brother Nigerian housemates or former housemates who are my people, cool people, very respectful, very, you know, real people. Yeah. A few of them. Mm-hmm. But there are some also, you get what I'm saying? You know, mm-hmm. that, you know, you're not be thinking that, you, you, do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah. are you, are you, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. one, one was to come to my lounge recently with some of my friends from, you know, outside of the country, mm-hmm. and apparently they were talking about going to a place at the Legushi Beach, and this mm-hmm. guy was saying, ah, I can't go there. If I go there, everybody will be rushing at me, you know, because I'm this, famous. I'm famous, I'm that. You get what I'm saying? I, you know. Famous. You know then, what I'm going to. You know, he didn't know, you know, you get what I'm saying? And then the next thing he came with the girls, you know, with the ladies, you know. When I saw him, you know, I mean, I won't be stupid to see someone that I recognize and act yeah. like I don't recognize yeah. you. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I'm like, hey, bro, bro, what's up? You know, I greeted you because, I mean, uh, you get what I'm saying? Uh, who should they, swell up? I mean, as junior colleague. <laughs> who, sh- who should swell up? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Who, who should swell up? Mm-hmm. Who should carry shoulder? You yeah, not you should, yeah. Are you, are you, are you mad? You get what I'm saying, you know? <laughs> You get what I'm saying? Inco swell up. And he the nigga swell up. I oh. mean, I just say, okay, no problem. That then he left like maybe just two seconds after. Then after he left, that was when I was now told all the things he said before he got there and all that. And I'm like, what? Uh, like, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that is why Big Brother Africa must come back. So that people know it it it's you know, I have nothing against Big Brother Nigeria happening. Big Brother Nigeria is the is a show for Nigerians. That's how it's supposed to be. It's on the same platform. Is it not a franchise to Big Brother Africa? Ho- hold on, bro. Hold okay. on. Ever since Big Brother Africa existed, they are, we've always had local ones. Yeah. There, there has always been Big Brother South Africa. Africa yeah. They've done Francophone. They've done Big Brother Angola. Mm-hmm. None of them would ever have the boss that Big Brother Africa has. Mm. But today, they put Big Brother Africa on hold because Nigerians say they don't want Big Brother Africa anymore because we are always cheated. That's why they stopped Big Brother Africa because multi choice will always listen to their consumers. Mm, so the moment yeah. Nigerians were saying we don't want any more, we want our own, they stopped for two years. Nothing happened. True. Now True. people have missed yeah. the show. Yeah. So anything that comes out that sounds like Big Brother, people will jump on it. So it's painful when I see that, okay, it's like people have forgotten Big Brother Africa. I'm not the only one. Uti was in Big Brother Africa. Africa yes, Beverly yes. Osu was in Big Brother Africa. Uh, who else? Karen. Plenty of us. I'm not the only one. I'm yeah, not no, more special yeah. than these people, but mm-hmm. things they pay us pass as they, you know, we don't have the same type of feelings. Hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. You see this Big Brother Africa, that my own title forever. Nobody feel collector. You know, and I would defend it. The way I actually see it is like, I think you guys that started this whole thing, that you guys that went to Big Brother Africa yeah. should actually be the ones that that's what i'm trying to explain this big brother niger big, because you guys know the rules you know there's they, you should be part of this okay so this should be part of your the story. same organizers you know the same platform mnet dstv mm-hmm. they own big brother africa they put it on hold they own big brother nigeria they give the same privilege of big brother africa to big brother nigeria Okay. The same PR, the same, you so, know, yeah. you get what I'm saying? Everything yeah. they would mm-hmm. because they are sure they have to sell. True. They have to make the money. This trend or whatever I'm hearing that Big Brother Nigeria being the biggest show on the continent, how? That was the title of Big Brother Africa. Let them let let it just yeah, happen today. Yeah, that Big, Big Brother, Brother Africa, Africa comes, comes back. Yeah. Even the people that have won Big Brother Nigeria. They will cry. They would wish they could be a part of Big Brother Africa. Even some that have won Big Brother Nigeria would not have made it to represent the country. Okay. It's not the same. Hmm. Big Brother Africa, you are carrying the flag of your country. Yes. You will be judged by your country people. They will assess you. We have a lot of dope people in the country. Mm-hmm. They have swag. They have the looks. They have everything that you think you have. Now they are looking at you. Let's see if this guy will represent us well. Yeah. Now that's one that you have to pass. Hmm. Secondly, now you need to be accepted by the rest of Africa. True. They must find you entertaining. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll go out. My time, 
I won other people's countries when the country housemate went home. Say, you go go home. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, but but me, go I day. go still represent you. Do people. you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> you feel well, me? Wow, yeah. So, that's Big Brother Africa. Huh. You know, it's, it's, it's beyond what it is now. So, if Big Brother Nigeria was not owned by the same people, are you get what I'm saying? Huh. Okay, they are doing Big Brother South Africa now. Is it getting the same buzz as Big Brother Nigeria? No. You don't even know they are you doing it. They are doing Big Brother South Africa. Huh. You get what I'm saying? Maybe because of our, you know, our population or Nigerians are, you know, quite good to look at. And yeah. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Things like that, you feel me? And maybe more brands from here yeah. are more supportive is, yeah. of the show and stuff like that. But there have always been Big Brother Angola, Big Brother. Yeah, you, you yeah, get what I'm saying? It's yeah. you know. So Big Brother Nigeria, in my opinion, should be shown on NTA on a normal day if it wasn't owned by a cable network that supplies the whole of Africa. Africa. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's you, do you understand what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. If mean, something yeah. says something yeah. Nigeria, what does it mean for the Nigerians? Yeah. In Nigeria, <laughs> you get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And let me now tell you how unfair this is has been on the rest of Africa. Uh-huh. If Big Brother Africa doesn't come back, is that when other countries don't have their own to watch, like Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, Liberia, Syria yeah. alone, Ghana, Ghana, they don't have a show where their own housemate is participating, so they will watch the one they can watch, which is the Nigerian one. So they, they are giving the support of, do you understand, into, you know, because... Unlike, let's say now, Big Brother Africa happens and Liberia has their representative there. Yeah. Would they be supporting in Nigeria? They they uh, they will definitely do more numbers when it comes to oh, Big Brother come Africa. Oh come on, bro! Do YouTube. more numbers yeah. and more, more money. More money, yeah. More money, so more numbers, stop, more why everything. Why did they bring it back? Do you, do That's a question to Mnet. Wow. That's their question to answer. Why did they stop it? I don't want to say what I think made them stop it, but mm. whatever made them stop it. It's time for Big Brother Africa to, to come, come back. back. Big Brother Nigeria can be happening on one side, but mm-hmm. there are levels to this stuff, man. Mm-hmm. Let Big Brother Africa happen. Let Big Brother Nigeria happen. If Big Brother Nigeria outshines Big Brother Africa, I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of speaking of um, lounges, because you just talked about um, somebody that came to your lounge, I just yeah. want to put it out there that Tayo has a fantastic place <laughs> at Elegushi Beach. It's called Unsuku. For me, it's the bushmeat. You die. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't go die. I go there every night to eat that bushmeat. It's, it's, it is yeah. it so good. And the place is lovely. It's, it's some place you can have a whole lot of fun in Lagos, whenever you're in Lagos. And Thank you, bro. Bro, I love your place. Thank you, know, you so much. I know, uh, I know. You. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been there a couple of times. You know, not I, not I only in it. words, you know, yeah. but you've been supportive. You come. And you enjoy yourself. You don't want to leave at all, yeah, you know. I, so, I, it's a nice so I do know it's that. And you have your own lounge. That's yeah. that's the most interesting <laughs> part. You have your lounge. I've not come to your lounge. Yeah, you are a star, Baba. You know, you get what I'm saying. You mm-hmm. are uh, my own OG. You get what I'm saying. Yeah, you know? like yeah. Before I came here, I was with uh, Durella. Uh, San Sultan of Blessed Memory, may yeah. so rest in peace. Uh, you know, OGs, you get what I'm saying? Nice, you get Revet. what I'm saying? You know, Timaya, the band, you know, yeah. these are people that, you know, you get what I'm saying? Like, you know, no ma- even if uh, in 20 years' time, you know, they are old and they, they, uh-huh. these are people, I will always, I will always respect them because uh-huh. I remember where I was when you guys were buzzing. Are you uh, get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And as a Yoruba man, huh. this says um, original yeah, intelligence. intelligence. Yes. There's also what they call traditional intelligence. Uh. As a Yoruba man, I operate by traditional intelligence. There's a saying in Yoruba that says, Ekisati Lugbari, It means, I know what it means. A rag yeah. once rocked. Yes, was once the new. Was once in, in vogue. Yeah. So the new cloth should also thread carefully because it mm. will also become a rag. Mm. You can say, mm. You can say word. You can say tire. Why is it so? You know, is it the only one that went for Big Brother Africa? Mm. Past glory, yo, man. That mm. my past glory is me. My yesterday was the mother of my today. My today, the mother of my tomorrow. Even my tomorrow will become a yesterday. yesterday. Yes. So why would we not cherish our yesterdays? You see, the old Big Brother experience that you talked about, mm. right? Is uh, it also applied to the music industry? You know. Yeah. There's so many of the guys that were 
used to be very famous yeah. they're, they're not that much famous now yeah. and when we get talking i i still I, as a matter of fact i prefer talking to them on my platform yeah. than talking to the new guys because they have a whole lot of stories to share yeah. but they will still tell you that uh this new ones does not respect them the so this one no step on them this one doesn't. I'm, I'm like listen baba see now the country where we day it's the mentality of our the people. mentality of yeah. our people that is why they behave like that and i i kept saying it 2019 yeah just before covid right yeah i still went to a nelly show <laughs> nelly was uh uh what's this guy's name and it was sold out the show uh, was sold out neo 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 was in nigeria recently jaru was in nigeria recently their shows were sold out when was the last time jaru had an but album do you understand what i'm saying you know uh, uh luda chris is still mercedes-benz uh ambassador ambassador yeah when was the last time that Kelly Rowland made a boss, you know, or, or, or Lil Kim, all those kind of people? Or Naughty by Nature. But they're not born. Or Pepe. They're not born uh, Migos, or let's say Quavo. Yeah. They're not born Quavo well. Make it say, because now I'm the trending artist, make it go disrespect uh, Jada Keys or, yeah. or, 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 yeah. or no G. Yeah, get what I'm yeah. saying? Did you see the halftime for the Super Bowl? This oh yeah yeah i i watched it over and over bro is, look, look at you it you know that was dr yeah. dre when last did dre drop an album right <laughs> that was dre that was eminem that see. was 50 cent that was mary j black yeah and see how crazy yeah i don't know what is wrong with our people why they just since think since i got back to nigeria in 2019 i was at uh rugged man's um that show it, it brings where it brings all the old G's, yeah foundation you know? concert yeah, yeah i yeah. was at the one in 2019 or was it yeah i think that we was did 2020 here yeah. oh yeah okay yeah, so yeah, i was at the yeah. one for 2019 yeah, yeah and then these guys were coming one after the yeah, other okay. and my head okay. just a swell and Whoa. i didn't get goosebumps recently too uh with, with i've been on several shows with nice maybe they will book me to go to one mm-hmm. stage there nice is the person there, there. Yeah. and the moment this bro start That's to perform like still. everywhere goes scatter the yeah. same way yeah you get what i'm saying yeah. Yeah. tony tetula's you don't eat my car I goes to but, um, I get what I'm saying, yeah. you know it's the fault of the people the same way we complain about the government say the government is bad the government is bad mm-hmm. our people are bad that's hmm. the people up there are the result of the people under here hmm. drive on the road and see how an average Nigerian man drives someone person don't make you turn in front of me before I did go he make you turn in front <laughs> of me I'm like are you mad <laughs> you get what I'm saying bro yeah you feel me yeah so it's the people the way the people are their mentality you get what i'm saying you know mm. how old am i <laughs> I'm, you know <laughs> look, I'm, I'm still young yeah, i'm still fresh still fresh people they go for Extremely big brother nigeria sexy. at age 40. wow but because me i go for big brother in 2014 then you want they put me for say i don't yeah, hold uh, uh, my nigga <laughs> you know you know it well now <laughs> <laughs> the foundation concert that Rugged had here last the last one mm-hmm. right when they called face yeah face was one of the yeah, guys yeah. face was actually the headline when yeah. face was performing yeah. bro yeah it was as in you need to see my body yeah. you need to see how people yeah and all the old songs when you meet somebody uh, you know, uh, all those course. old songs oh, oh uh, you now go hello my name oh, oh, bro. Bro. Uh, as a matter of fact uh, when you got to the end the crowd was shouting face face <laughs> face i'm like wait though <laughs> these are songs of 10 it's, 15 it's years the ago people. The so the how come this guy is not being endorsed in 2022 that, that's that's nonsense because you know? the fan base is still yeah. there they love him yeah yeah it's the people's mindset we don't like ourselves there hmm. was a day I, I made a post on Instagram and I was like, I feel b- bleach my skin, make I turn white person now. The idiot mumu bloggers, when they go post them, they say Tyre of Anino says he wants to change his skin. I mean, look how <laughs> how nicely dark my skin is and fresh. <laughs> I want to go and bleach. If I wake up one day and I'm not this dark again, I can commit suicide. God forbid. Do you get mm, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but what I was trying to say was because I saw how badly we treat ourselves. Hmm. Even if you're a politician, you want steal money, steal. But still do things where go make us enjoy life. I'm not asking for so much from you, but at least let me know. Let your road not spoil my car. Yeah. 
the basics. No, no, be you buy a car for me. Let mm-hmm. me drive on a good road. Let me not be swimming with my car in in the flood yeah. it, because you didn't do common drainage. Yeah, especially when I pay so much taxes. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know, so so I mean that that was what I was talking about. So our people, we don't like ourselves. To batting that for a lower. As the time when you are, I mean, things are working for you. Mm. The people are already waiting for the lifespan of your good times to end. Mm. They are already thinking it. Oh my, uh, Joe Marcello, I took a little joy. I took a little joy. I will let me out to dancing. I mean, that, that, why? Why can't we all, you know, you know, shine together? Why can't we all have fun and be happy together? Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm talking about big brother, big brother, big brother. Hmm. Bro, you said we just spoke about my lounge now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I live well. You t- of course. I roll well. You move I well. look fucking good. You get yeah. what I'm saying? I'm still fresh. And then you want to write me off in your own mind because in your mind you think, oh, no, your own time don't go. Yeah. I beg, the people where they there now, bring one. <laughs> you know, let, let's mm-hmm. just bring one mm-hmm. in real life. Let's stand together. Yeah. Let's just stand together. You get what I'm saying, you know. Yeah. I mean, Ikechuku rapper. Yeah, kills. Kills. Shout out to kills. You know, we we we've hung out a couple of times, or when it does happen, we hang out. You know, cool person. Yeah. When we chill, if you say rap, after you go 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 go, you go just rap. They go. You get what I'm saying? Mm. The fire is still there. You, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. The talent is still, still there. there. The people that yeah. are buzzing now, some of them, they're not born their papa well. Maybe they stand with someone like he like he and rap with him. Yeah, they, they can't. Many can't. He should be the one, you get what I'm saying, writing rap or you get what I'm saying, doing one or two things with the same. They have to be respected. But we're in a, in, in a country whereby people only like what they see now. Hmm. See, let's even leave the general public. Talk about your friends. When you have and you can share with them, they all jump at you. Mm. You have enough crowd. God forbid it goes down for you a little bit, mm. then they will disappear. So that's what Nigerians are. Remember, that is what is affecting. You <laughs> feel me? Mm. That is what is affecting the music industry, mm. the entertainment industry. Okay. As they, oh, you see all this Baba them when they're sick, they will come. They contribute money for okay. them because. You get what I'm saying? Things are not the way, you know, like, yo, man, people are just moving mad, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, more like, <laughs> it, 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 for me, I think it's also a structural problem. Yeah. Right? Because no provision for people, even normal shows, right? If, yeah. they, if you see any show out here yeah. now, like yeah. they want to do an event or something, mm. right? Nobody goes back to Cold Rugged Man. Hmm. Nobody goes back, even Two Faces once in a while. Hmm. It, for real yeah bro it's once wow. in a while only if he's doing his own concert hmm. maybe hmm. but let's say all this brand now they want to do shows now yeah. headlining yeah. The, the highest they will go is whiskey that's why there will be no and respect they will, they will relegate, <laughs> the, they will relegate the older yeah. ones there will never be respect because the, the newer person knows that nobody cares about you the older person you know they care about him but he's also forgetting that in few years down the line, they'll forget no, about everybody you. Everybody go chop him to the next one too. Everybody, everybody go chop him, except it's fixed. You get mm. what I'm saying now? Mm. Except it is fixed. There a time will come. There will be a, a, a there will be a bigger whiskey. Of course, there, there will be, be a bigger Davido, a bigger Bonner yeah, boy. A time that. will yeah. come. There's, a, you know, whiskey right now is buzzing and all that. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It will look like it did something more special than what the bands did. Or what Two Face did, mm-hmm. but it's not like that. It's just time. It's yeah, just it's that time, people yeah. like what they are chewing in their mouth now. Hmm. They forgotten that the one they chewed yesterday, that they swallowed and digested, was what kept kept them till today. Hmm. The food where you chop yesterday, no be make you grow to even want chop the one of today. today. True. So if if you come see food now because it's delicious, you can't you can't cost all the food where you they chop all this while. Hmm. Like recently, someone was telling me. A Yoruba person, she was telling me that Igbo food is better than Yoruba, Yoruba food. food. I said, hey, this is not about tribalism, <laughs> but <laughs> my lossy <laughs> bear. Yeah, don't it's not like tribalism, but don't go there. Don't we are saying Igbo food is not better. Yeah, but no, 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 no. no. We, we are not saying Igbo food is not good. Yeah. But that better is personal. 
Abi. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you want Malay, Yoruba, you can use the left hand to describe your father's house. Mm-hmm. But me, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The Yoruba food now in sweet pass. And mm-hmm. I've been around the world. I've eaten yeah. different types of stuff, but now my own food still sweet pass for my This is what you grew up on. You know, right? So, so that's you, how it's you cannot just come and just nullify the fact that okay mm-hmm. they said something and you like it's better uh, i mean how 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 do you <laughs> you know <laughs> you disrespect your your home just like that mm. because if you can if you can throw away your own people's food um, like you get on so what you've eaten from childhood and you say okay you've now found one that is better than that then you can throw away your culture your mm. tradition you know your everything you know in, in some do. Yeah, case the do. way some of our ancestors also threw away our traditions and adopted foreign religions you know but we'll leave but, that but for how now. much do you think we can actually maybe maybe i shouldn't use the word we can but how much do you think our people can be sens- sensitized to make them understand that see timing or age does not determine someone's value yeah right you see that oh you were there before you let the new ones rain now yeah oh you are now yeah you get okay yeah but what kind of conversation do we want to have with people to make them understand that listen yeah, yeah. give people their shots yeah give people their flowers when they deserve it yeah right yeah okay so you see that one uh, the the two problems that we have in nigeria is that we already have a wrong we already have a lot of wrong ways that we have made right i don't know if i'm making sense that here a lot of things that are wrong are already right maybe feel like it's a in, norm. in if someone chants you now maybe then use your head now collect something for your hand instead of our people to judge the person that conned you they will judge you and say you slept on it Oh, go right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Well, yeah, well, <laughs> Sometimes the, the conversation rumble. Wrong. The conversation could be interesting. We yeah. just they go, they go, they yeah. go. And you know why? I don't know to say there is no platform where actually give people that to time express themselves. to express themselves. You know, to a whole lot of people don't even know how intelligent you are. Hmm. Because they've hmm. never heard you speak. Yeah. What they see on TV is who are you? Pa, pa, pa. What you know, pa, pa, pa. Five minutes gone. So that's what the industry bro, is made I've, of. I've spoken to some people on this podcast mm. that I was like, Jesus Christ, mm. this person is deep, brilliant, right? Mm. But we don't know. You know, we don't see the surface. Nobody yeah. is going. So yeah. that was why I didn't put a time frame to it. I, my conversation with Vector was three hours. Vector, my guy. <laughs> three hours. I, I I was telling my guy. I said I said, listen, then we have to cut this into two. Yeah, Vector is a wise guy. He's so smart, and he kept very, going. Very He's so vast. Very proud. He's so vast. And another thing, see, another thing. We say I know to say our counterparts, the white people, mm. right? Um, most of their conversation these days, what they look forward to is artificial intelligence. Mm. Right? Yeah. You get. Everybody's AI, AI. Now they're introducing NFT and shit, right? But I don't know what that is, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I've heard of that. You get <laughs> metaverse. Yeah. Now they're creating another world outside the universe that you know all those and things. And our people they follow. They follow. But I then I asked myself. I said, if there is an artificial intelligence, there should be an original, original intelligence. intelligence. And when if we want to say anything is original, we have to go back to Africa, because hmm. Africa is where all these things started from hmm. right so i just look say okay i'll original call it original intelligence, intelligence because mm. i think there is more that we don't know because even if you look at what all this technology that they're expressing to us now right if you look um, deep down africa at some point has done all these things we've achieved way it. back man way back Work now we can't go back the queue they follow our own thing we will start you know it's insane um put up for one i see they feel that hotness <laughs> <laughs> so baba it's 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 a privilege you know to sit down and have <laughs> conversation no man ah, it's, no, a, it's bro, a privilege it's a, for me bro I, yeah, yeah you know, much respect bro you know for real you know that's how it is for me i'm a yoruba person you know we take respect you know yeah, personal man yeah. it's it's very important to us mm. 
you know, my, my dad's friends will come to the house, you will pro- prostrate, yeah. but you still receive one equal, bah, <laughs> that you didn't prostrate enough. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? My father's house, my dad will ask us to sit on the floor for an elder to sit on the couch. You know, but these days, you know, your child owns the seat. You know what I'm saying? You know, but. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, so I mean, so for me, it's a privilege, you know, meeting you. Yeah, uh, you know, more than I know you, I know your name, Jobless. Yeah. You get know what I'm saying? I know your music, you know, Joe. Oh, the baby super glue, she I drop. You know? <laughs> You feel me, bro? You know, so you guys did it. You made it attractive. That's yeah. why we wanted to do it. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Mm-hmm. You know, so that, that that's how people should think. You asked me a question, you know. You said, how do we uh, start a conversation or get people to start thinking? You can't get people to start thinking, especially our people in this country. Mm. God blessed us so much. You know, we're very deep, very strong, but we're stubborn. And a lot of things were bad. Nine would not make good. You get what I'm saying? True. That that's a problem with with this country right now. Yeah. Rwanda is uh, trying to right a lot of wrongs in their country. Any African country that wants to progress, you will see right now they are busy trying to change things. Like okay, this is what we used to do that is wrong. Let's try to make it right and all that. But yeah. in our own country, what are we trying to make right? The only thing we'll complain about is this leader, that leader, that leader. Are you getting what I'm saying? From leadership. Even, even, some of, even some of our leaders are afraid of us. They are like, if we let these people come and lead, they are worse. They are terrible people. That's why they are trying to keep us down. So we need to change ourselves. But how can we change this thing? Yeah. You can't change it. I can't change it. If I said... All these things I'm saying now, in 2014, when I just came out of Big Brother Africa, mm. people will probably respect it more. But career-wise, I've not really been active as I should be. You know, like, mm. you kind of, like, went down and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, but you were doing your thing, regardless. You are doing your things, you and... You just don't put it in people's eyes. You understand? Yeah. You know, like, you know, it's, it's not everyone that will be used to the way people move these days. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Some yeah. people are out there on social media. They don't have anything in real life. But those are the people everyone sees. That, oh, and they're like, you know, and it for someone... You know, it's, it's a pain. You'll be like, come on, but this person don't have nothing, man. I have, you know, everything, but I don't have to, I don't know how to show it. It's just not in my own blood to show everything. And yeah. But and that's me too. That's me too. Do I, you understand I what I'm saying? In my life. You know. I hate show off. You know. <laughs> if anything I'm putting out is not going to motivate a young geese out there, I'm not putting it out. That's uh, especially when I used to, man even in south africa since like all those 2008 2009 2010 i was living in rosebank it it, it, a step outside of my door i'm already in the mall where all the top celebrities are you know from back in the days when i met idris elba i met him on a handshake level akon a party of 25 people i was one of them Chilling with Econ, we're talking. That was far back as 2019. I've shared a state with R. Kelly and, you know, all those top people. So, it's not a big deal anymore to someone like me. So, I don't need to show it to you. It's just there. When you meet me, you will feel it. Uh, But, uh, do you understand what I'm saying? But anyway, now, if I start to talk about it now, you start to talk about it now, our people's mentality automatically goes to, oh, you got one to love, they are just frustrated. Mm. They are just mm. trying to, mm. you get what I'm saying? But mm. it's not about that. Mm-hmm. So the only person that can make a change is someone that is trending right now. Let's say if a Davido or a Whiskey yeah. or Bonaboy wakes up tomorrow and say, you know what? I want to give it to the whole G's. I want to make them out there. Do you understand what I'm saying now? Yeah. You know, the world knows Afro beats now. Mm-hmm. Baba no Vexo, mm-hmm. the world knows Afro beats today. Yes. But they only know Whiskey, Bonner Boy, Davido, mm-hmm. Omole, mm-hmm. Rema, <laughs> Fireboy. Are you getting what I'm saying? They don't know Jobless. Mm-hmm. The world don't know Rugged Man. The world does not, I mean, they, they don't know uh, Nice. You get what I'm saying? They don't even know Two Face that much. Yeah. They know him, yeah, but, but it's not, not projected. That, yeah. But the people that actually did it, you know, 
you get, it's like building a house. You get what I'm saying? People, these people build the house from foundation, foundation yeah, to lintel to lin- level. Yeah, to lintel. Whiskey yeah. took you from lintel level and built the yeah. story, and then you are praising the story building. <laughs> and what the, uh, the upstairs? You are leaving the downstairs. That's yeah. messed up. Uh. So if someone like that looks like, you know what? We want to do a world tour for Afrobeat classics. You know, let us let the world know our pioneers. You know, the people that actually did it, the people that yeah. did it, yeah. that made it interesting for us. Mm. To also want to do it yeah you know the other day i was seeing um this international collaboration mixes mm-hmm. right and i saw that at some point two-face had a song with beanie man oh yeah with with uh Pro- white clef Jean. yeah probably that's the first um, international collab big thing that year bro yeah it's <laughs> bar remix yeah y'all. yeah yeah <laughs> you know i was like just imagine if this was 2022 <laughs> If that video was now, yeah. if that song is now, yeah. you know the kind of buzz is going to get. Yeah, right. Then, yeah. And um, P Square did recross. Yeah, yeah. Those are the things that were opening. <laughs> the band did Snoop Dogg. The band did Snoop Dogg. Yeah. The band did Kanye. Yeah, did bro. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Those guys opened <laughs> those doors that these guys are enjoying yeah. now, right? Yeah. So always give the flowers. You to know, to so the OGs. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You know, it favors some people. You know, in it, when you talk about someone like Two Face, Baba see the chop till now. Of course. And they are still giving him um his props you get what i'm saying like mm-hmm. an og yeah. you know just the same way uh when the western world wants to make us black people feel special they just pick one person out of all of us like let's let's make them feel like they're important something like that mm. it's the same thing the music industry or the entertainment industry does you get what i'm saying they'd be like you know what let's just symbolize let's make two-face the og is two-face the only og we have it's not there are a lot of ogs Plain so OGs. this one will feel like if i pay my homage to two-face being the og then i'm good nah man there are a lot of ogs you gotta keep paying it too but there's something i read that one guy tweeted that if just imagine bonner yeah Wiz and david mm. say they want to do a show mm-hmm. and to come in to the event is your, with the the gate pass is your pvc yeah i saw that um you saw it um I think one big brother Nigerian guy said it. I, never, I don't know. And I, f- I thought about it. I said, this could be a change. This yeah. could change a whole lot of things because people will actually go out yeah. to get those people. And yeah. it could change the, course, the narrative of this yeah. country. Yeah. Right? yeah. But, but it's not saying It won't happen. <laughs> You know, I don't problem. think it will happen, man. But you, man, because if they, even they, even they, even if they have the good intention to mm. do it, mm. now some people go still go tackle them. Say, yeah. Hey, she. You de, you de mad, you, you know. It, you I, de, I, you I, know what I mean? I, I, this power uh, uh, they change and on a, on a second thought, now because you see the the pain, the suffering of the nation is affecting everybody. They feel do that one, but sometimes people don't have emotional intelligence to feel the pain of another person. I get what I'm saying. Mm. You know, as I am like this now, I'm not a no geo. I, I I knew that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I have a new career ahead of ahead of me. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Acting, you know? Yeah. Like I keep I keep saying it, you know. I, I I didn't make a decision to do Nollywood. Even when I came out of Big Brother Africa, I had a I had bookings, you know, I was on Tinsel and stuff like yeah. that. But I wasn't a serious actor, I was just doing it. But right about now, I'm dangerous. Give me the opportunity and then you will see trouble. I will kill it. And mm-hmm. professionally as well, most Nigerian talents don't have the level of professionalism and and discipline that i have yeah. i'm south africa trained you get what i'm saying like mm-hmm. i was trained in south africa you know time is important to us you book a person come at eight you don't start coming at 12. in nigeria some people come late intentionally yeah. they feel it makes them be uh, mm-hmm. bigger if they come yeah. late yeah all those kind of things you know they are disrespectful to mm-hmm. workers on sets and stuff like that i'm not like that you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. people who have worked with me they cannot say anything lesser Negative. than loving mm. my level of professionalism and discipline. So it sounds so like it sounds like they're expecting a movie. So. My bro, there's there's gangs of Lagos coming. They, you, people don't have a choice. Gangs, gangs of, of Lagos. Lagos will tear everywhere. Oh yeah. And I'm so fortunate that I got a big role, a big one. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And I'm also so fortunate that God helped me that I was able to put my best into it. Oh, yeah gangs of lagos may not make me the best actor in nigeria 
but it's gonna put me on that platform to mm-hmm. start you get mm-hmm. what i'm saying that people be like okay yeah that guy you know do you understand what i'm saying that's yeah. what i want just give me a chance don't like me oh. you can say you don't like me you can say uh that guy you can have your opinion from my five even though you don't really know me you just feel like you don't like me it's mm. okay mm. but i beg you do not hold my osophagus don't hold the pa- the passage that the food takes to go into my stomach yeah, yeah. because that now you want to take my life mm. allow me to work allow me to be who god has made me, me to be. be i have family to feed i have a lot mm. of people relying on me you know mm. so don't because you hate me and stay you know in my way because there are a lot of people who do that in this industry as well mm. People go around saying cho 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 cho, uh. and this person. Some people now them do you bad. Now them go still go. They tell people around say you be bad person. True. You get what I'm saying, man. So uh-huh. they 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 now come and hold you. You know. So I mean that that's what is wrong. But as uh. long as you allow me do my work, uh. this is what I love. I can't be a medical doctor. I'm young. I can still go to school to study something yeah. else. Yeah. Maybe plastic surgery. Uh-huh. I go they do like <laughs> something and things. I go the hammer. It you know what I'm <laughs> But for real, this is what makes me feel alive. Entertainment. I've been yeah. doing it before it became the coolest thing. When people were saying, oh, uh, you are wasting your time. Oh, now serious people, they do. No, now then we don't, they do them. You get what I'm saying? You know, so I do it because I love it. Please, whatever you want to do to hurt me, go ahead. You know, I know God won't allow you anyway, but do not stay in the way of me making my food because that way you want to end my life and, you yeah. know, you won't survive it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I feel you, bro. I feel you, bro. What's your take on this? Oh God! Coming election. <laughs> <laughs> What's your take coming on, on this coming election? Do you, you know. Do, do, do you think we are heading towards the right way, the right path? My bro, man. As INEC uh, Youth Ambassador. You're INEC Youth Ambassador. Oh yes, I am. You know, I've been since 2015. You wow. know. Wow. Yeah, I would say get your PVC and vote. As a Nigerian, I also share the sentiment and the fear of say our vote go count. So that's what you get what I'm saying. So many youths, you know, believe. and we've asked questions from INEC top officials. You know, when we have meetings and stuff like that, they assured us that our votes count. So get your PVC and vote. Let's just make that day turn up day. If we do the same thing we did during the NSAS at the toll gate, turning up there. We we'll do it for election, although you are not allowed to. After votes, you are supposed to go to your house. But yeah. at least let's make it a link up place. Like, yo, my nigga. Oh, Good. sorry for that end language. Mm-hmm. But you know, we, we don't we're yeah. not offended yeah. by it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, say bro, what's up? Let's link up at the the the, the polling, polling booth, you know, yeah. and we we'll go there, we vote your conscience. We'll vote and you know, let's see how that is going to make a difference this time. Do you yeah. think Tinubu has a shot? <laughs> you want me to come on Lagos? <laughs> 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 you know I <laughs> you know <laughs> I'm a very outspoken person <laughs> but I'm also not stupid <laughs> you know <laughs> I live in Lagos mm. my career is in Lagos, Lagos because yeah. the entertainment industry is basically in Lagos yeah Recently, yeah. I tweeted at my governor, Governor Shei Makinde. I, I tweeted at him. He didn't respond, but I said, Sir, please, I want us to develop entertainment in my state. Uh, I want to come home. I would live in Ibadan. Ibadan is a beautiful place. I was yeah. there recently. I had yeah. so much fun. It's, yes. No traffic. Yeah, it's another some place. Good yeah. roads. You get know what I'm saying? You know, like, even Amatan was more serious there. I felt a bit of winter in my state. Can you yeah. imagine that? <laughs> you know, and the food, everything. So I tweeted at him. I said, "Let's let's develop entertainment." I don't understand why entertainment is done only in Lagos. You, you get what I'm saying, man? Yeah. You know, Tyler Perry made it happen for Atlanta. Yeah. I can do it for my state. I have everything in my head to create to make entertainment in my state competitive to Lagos within five years. Yeah, you get I, what I'm I, saying. I, I do. I do always think that yeah. if we can have um, a developed state, mm. you know, like Lagos, if you can have six, seven of them in Nigeria, Nigeria, I think Nigeria will change. Will change. Yeah. You know, if, if every, let's say, yeah, <clears throat> okay, maybe Kano is on that spot, but let's have more, yeah, you know, some in the east, some in the southwest. Yeah. That, that's a, that's a, t- to that's Lagos a topic, be, <laughs> Lagos, it won't even be this, yeah, like that's a topic for another day, you know. 
in America, you see someone owning Chicago, uh, ATL, even yeah. 50 Cent stays in New Jersey, mm -hmm. this one there, yeah. that one there. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm yeah. saying? They are all over all the over place. The place. But in Nigeria, you must be in Lagos. Lagos. Bono Boy is from PH or where is he from? Yeah. Right? Is he yeah. from PH? Yeah, I guess, yeah. You know, he still lives in Lagos. Lagos. Everybody if lives in Timaya, Lagos. Timaya, Lagos. Everybody Lagos. Everybody Lagos. Lagos. Everybody lives uh, Flavor, Lagos. Uh, the one from the north, uh, the ones from the north, rather, Lagos. Lagos yeah. So if you say, okay, you make calm, you day or, you know, all these places will begin to develop well, because, yeah. you know, part of the things that make Lagos as big as it is, entertainers are part of it. Yeah. You know, you know, yeah. you, this is the only place you can be in and you see stars, like you are seeing every. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. regular person yeah, you know yeah. so but however uh, that question you asked me man I, i'm sorry man i don't want to say anything about <laughs> Sinubu. <laughs> i don't i don't want to say nothing about Tinubu because <laughs> i don't want no trouble <laughs> funny enough for me though for me i actually think he has a shot mm -hmm. um the reason why i said so is Hmm. the power right and when it comes to nigeria we are very very unpredictable hmm. you, you won't i won't be surprised if no you, if he so to let me tell you something I'm actually surprised. you know tabaso amaku Bene. tabaso amaku you know if i would have the opportunity to meet uh baba tinubu one on one i will ask him i will say this to him i will say sir I don't have a doubt that if you become the president of Nigeria, that you would develop Nigeria. Yes. Because look at Lagos. You Lagos has developed. You, you know, there Lagos. was a time yeah. he was running Lagos without any resources or whatever from the federal government. Yeah. He can do it. He's intelligent. Yes. He's, he's, he's a leader. He's, he's smart. He's powerful. But the only question is, sir, how much do you want to own? Hmm. How much do you want to how much of this when you talk about where local mm. you know you know you own almost everything how much you want to cut but then you know if, but then tell you, if you look at it you get what i'm saying i personally think would we also eat would, would funny it, enough would, we saw we children of the the of commoners you get what i'm saying now would you make it go around that's the only funny fear enough, i have, I have, I have a different opinion about that because i think he, ha he has owned enough i don't think he's doing this because he wants to own more me my bro my bro yes. my bro you can't you can't be so this. sure i, I said my saying. opinion no i said my opinion I'm, yeah i don't think he's doing this because he wants to own more i think he's doing this because he wants to make a statement he's doing it for legacy right how do if, you know that's why, why he, know only it. him can tell me that you can't say that they don't give you money baba no <laughs> no no you know. but yeah. the reason why i said so, the reason why i said so Nick, wait, okay looking at it from human perspective mm. right this guy is richer than some states already he, he, he has everything he wants do you actually nigerian, think this is about money nigerian rich people don't get enough that's the problem hmm? no bro it's, it is financial and statements i don't think this is about money ja, ja bless. <laughs> bro uh, bro no no Baba, this is what i'm no. trying to say i'm not saying i know his intention mm. i'm talking about my own opinion my thoughts about him that at this moment if they were to ask me would you vote for tinubu uh -huh. I, I don't mind voting for him i don't mind him becoming our leader you know what i'm saying I, his health, his age or whatever, mm -hmm. we can pray for him. You know, God, you know, God does, you know, you, you understand what I'm saying? God can give him longer life than we, we expected. God, God can switch his health around. I but the, the question, mm -hmm. the only question that I have a problem with is the fact that I feel most Nigerians are too greedy. They don't get enough. They want everything you get what i'm saying mm. so that is my only fear i'm not talking about him i'm just saying See, sir is it that you you know you know you I get what like, i'm saying i would like man? to I, I think i would like to have somebody like tinubu on the show oh, yeah I th because i think somebody you. needs to ask the real questions good luck to the you tough baba questions. I'm, I'm telling you <laughs> if i can get the opportunity to have him on the show i would like to <laughs> sit with him i think you know you remember what i told you that most times yeah yeah we listen to these guys from surface yeah right nobody actually open up conversations with them 
to know who they are going right to now, to right, to now to right now right now right now but if i have to know on this it now yeah okay, i swear my questions about politics will be five percent of one bro right now right now right now mm-hmm. i don't trust any politician nobody does you, do you understand what i'm saying i don't too i feel it is not a fair game i feel most are heartless i feel they don't care about us why why are we like this in nigeria we have everything to live the, the same way emirates live in yeah. in, in dubai you yeah. know what do they have oil yeah. we have it we have more natural resources some are not even tapped into yeah even human human um resources do you understand what i'm saying you know so right now i don't trust any politician i've never trusted one if i vote this time coming that will be my first time of voting in my entire life mm. i intentionally do not vote for doesn't i mean do not vote for anyone because i feel i'm not impressed by you i'm not impressed by you i'm not just gonna vote because i must vote for someone mm. during yeah. this our uh this our president is first time um uh, when he wanted to become the, the president for the first time mm-hmm. uh, that was in 2015 i was in lagos he was supposed to come to intercontinental hotel i went there because i wanted to hear him speak maybe i would be impressed or hear something yeah. but he didn't come they said something happened he didn't make it there i flew to rwanda wow. on the day of election i was in rwanda chilling my level of patriotism does not make me vote for a wrong person i must be convinced why am i voting for you See, but, but, but you get what i'm saying okay. so if uh bat you know can if i can have a, a one-on-one with him with that's respect exact, yeah, yeah that's exactly with my respect point. that's exactly what i was saying with that respect, if, I, if you know i can come here and we sit down together yeah and i ask him some tough questions that they are not going to ask him on tv yeah and he's able to convince us yeah. i'm sure a whole lot of you to vote yeah Let's but they won't go we, to, they we won't can take baba to shall go to to swear we can take Baba to Shango or Ogun Shrine to, sh- to swear. You know, let him let him swear. My bro. See, no, no, no. Believe no. or he not. He doesn't believe in what? Believe or not. I'm uh, telling you that swearing with Ogun and Shango won't he be a big say, deal. Come and swear. He, he do, they do come and swear. Because let basis, me tell you something. Yeah. You know, so, someone has money that you can't count. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Who, does, who do you think is living it for? It's children. And children's children. He won't swear for, for he won't falsely swear in front of Ogun or Shango now. Mm. He can do it at church. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> he can do it at the church, but he will not do it at Shango or Ogun Shrine. Mm. Swearing with the life of his children and children's children, he will not do it for fun. A Yoruba man will not do that. Yeah. So that's just all I'm about. You mm. get what I'm saying? Yeah. I like the man, you know. If I, re- you know, when you, when you talk about how powerful a man is or how he built himself and everything, you know, I mean, no success is easy. Yeah. There's respect. There's belief that this man can make Nigeria work. Yeah. He can do it. Trust me. That's not a, I don't have any fear when it comes to that. I believe that he can make Nigeria work. But from what I've heard, I don't want to be hearing that our president did the road. He owns the road. Our president did electricity, mm. he now owns a company of electricity. Mm. Our president did this, he now owns... No, 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 don't, mm. don't own everything. Mm. We, the children of commoners, nobody knows my dad. I don't want to see your child and be feeling small next to your child because he's your child. Mm. Mm. He ain't no special to me. He is not special than me. You get what I'm saying? Mm. He, ain't, he ain't nobody special than me. He just has a dad who has kept so much for him or her. That's my only thing. Yeah. I don't want to talk there and someone tells me shut up because you are a son of a person. That's my only thing. Yeah, that's the, that, so yeah. make it go round. Let it go round. Let all of us let's, have. Let's have a society simple. where a common man son can apply to a shell or simple shell the job without knowing anybody. Simple. That that's because my only that worry. Equality for all. That that's, that's my only want. worry. I don't want Equality I don't want all. to see your child and I'm hearing that as the son of Lagbaja and you get what I'm saying? That mm. to me that that I mean, you feel me? I've I've lived yeah. in SA since 2008. Until 2019 when I moved back to Nigeria, I can tell you I've lived in South Africa. Calculate how many years. And in South Africa, a common man can talk to the president and say this that you this man i don't yeah. yeah can you try it in nigeria yeah. you cannot yeah. that's the only thing i don't like mm. 
So if we can say, sir, you want to, because at this moment, if, if, if someone like me campaigns for a person, trust me, he has an upper hand. Because people know I don't just support things for, for fake. Yeah. No, in fact, I don't pay me money. Yeah. I don't need your money. But if I'm convinced that you're a good person, person. I will yeah. use my blood, sweat, and tears to, com to campaign for you. But why should I do that? When at the end of the day, it's for your children and your children's children. What about me? What about my children's children? Hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. What yeah, about my own generation? That's, that's the only thing I don't like. I don't I hate the fact that some 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 of these politician children are useless people. They they've not made anything happen for themselves. They are just privileged. Trust funds. Yes. Trust funds and trust funds and They trust are just funds privileged. Trust funds, yeah. Recently, recently in Osaka, London, I was driving and one area boy said it's begin it begin to the to the hail me, you know. <laughs> I can't say it, it, I know that money last last, mm -hmm. <laughs> and in this Lagos, if you want to give everyone that asks you for money, you'll Bro, be broke. You're broke, oh, they'll finish you. You know, you can't. They ask me for money. They ask me, uh, I can't tell them. Say, Oga, you they disturb me. I beg, get out of my way. This guy go upstairs. So he started insulting me. That <laughs> is it your fault? If no be your papa will steal government money, you for. So I looked at him. I said, so this guy thinks I'm um, mm. the way I am because my father. My father did not eat government money. Which government money? My father. My fa <laughs> 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 you get what I'm saying? I, I grew up carrying the like, idea, carrying puff puff on my head and bones and you know selling stuffs and all that. Wow. And then you telling me, you telling me, uh, my father stole political money. How? He didn't. My father never. My father did not do it because of money. He did it because of name. That's the reason why I was after name at first. It was after I made name that I realized that, okay, even someone with name can be disrespected without having money. Now I'm chasing money. Mm. But I still don't want to have money in the wrong way. But is it not crazy? <laughs> is it not crazy? I'm telling you, it's crazy that we live in a society that everything revolves around money. That's it. Be 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 before they respect you because of the money you yeah. have nobody is looking at value nobody is looking at integrity yeah everything bro wh what are we going to call the title of this our interview like this because we've touched <laughs> different topics you know <laughs> but before we round up i would like to say this money is a major problem we have in this country most of these politicians that are now untouchable they started in front of the noses of Nigerians. I'll be under the noses of Nigerians. Someone started first, he stole 10 million. People go to the Elam, Baba, Baba, bend down because they go collect more thing. Yeah. Instead of looking at like, you're a counselor. Your salary is 150,000 naira. You are driving Range Rover Sports. After just working for like three months, you don't build house. Where you see the money? Hmm. Our people don't question Nobody well. Questions. Come she baba they baba. just do baba baba just to get their own. Next thing, the person will steal ten million, go steal hundred million, hundred million to one billion, one billion to one billion billion. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Now we can't touch them anymore. Hmm. So that also has to change. But man, where do you want to start from, bro? I used to believe in activism, but I stopped. You know why? Right. My family needs my life, hmm. and I need my life too. I want to drive Rolls Royce. I want to fly private jets, even though I, I don't want to do wrong things or whatever. But I like the luxury life. I also want to enjoy myself. Uh, I'm still enjoying my life like this right now. You know yeah. how many things I do to enjoy life. Yeah. So I need my life. So if you think you can make a change, sometimes your life may, may go to it. Uh, Most heroes uh, don't live long. Uh, you get what I'm saying? Most uh, heroes don't live long. They will victimize you. They will ruin your name. They will do things. You may die eventually. They will now start praising you like Fela Nikola Pokuti, mm. Brenda Farsi from South Africa, yeah. even Nelson Mandela, 27 years in jail. You think it's beans? Who wants to do that? Uh, my <laughs> nigga, all of you, you are your, you are your own, no? <laughs> you know, you are your own, everybody. If, you, if we all want this change, let's make the decision together. If you don't want the change, I will keep quiet. I will have, uh, uh, what what do we call this kind of conversation? Um, something that challenges your mind. What do we call? Uh, uh, no, no, no. Like what you say, the type of music that kind of like you know, 
make people to think deep. You know what do you call it? Um, consciousness. Consciousness. Thank you, my brother. Well, yeah, I will have conscious conversations mm. with my people around me, people who hang around me, and I will be doing this small, small right there. Yeah. But I won't come in into the public to go and come. Look at Sunday go now. Baba don't they be in the Republic for how many years now? Be, you know, how many months? It they chop beans. Our people still do one bear every weekend. Bro. They don't care about him. He's gone. Bro, I don't understand what happened in between. I just know that. Let's sign out before oh. we begin. Because this one way I call do it again. I just say at the point we don't just say that case is closed. Everybody just go on like nothing happened. <laughs> Is it is it is it Cotonou? You know, no, no. no. But do do our people do the people care about him? That that's the question. You get what I'm saying? They don't really care, my bro. When you are doing it, when you are doing activism, people will be cheering you up. Say, hey, ah, nice one. We like you. You have a voice. Will you represent us? When it sets, now only you will go remain. No, that is why nobody wants to come out. There are a lot of people that think what there's you so think. Yeah, there's so many. Things what I people. think. There's so many smart but people that don't have the opportunity. Nobody wants to die for nobody. Mm. I I don't want to die don't for you. But, but, <laughs> but, but come on, but but, 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 but but if you look at the way the society is going, don't you think we are on the verge or on the edge of? Hmm, it's yeah. like a ticking time bomb. See, if it blows, Baba, if it explodes, now all of us now. Did you see the video of 17, 16, 15 year old that they saw with human head? They're trying to do. Oh yeah, 12. 12. 12. Tw- one 12 year old was trying to kill his mom. Thank God for social media. You know, social media has the the negative side and the positive side. Yeah, I used to say you know that is a blessing. Social media has changed a lot of things, and even personally, I've benefited from social media a lot of times. You know. You get what I'm saying? Depending on how you want to use it. But I saw a 12 year old recently trying to kill his own mother to make money. What does a 12 year old know need about money? Need money for. You know? Need money for so, 12 years old, for God's sake. So, you know, but my own is that if God asks me, if, if I have the opportunity to meet God and I say, God, are you going to end this world? All of us go go at once, Baba <laughs> <laughs> Duam. I don't, but I don't think that the, will the, the fear is that, that we don't. Nobody the wants to is, leave. You the know, God will never end. Uh, uh, you don't think so? <laughs> no. It, it can end eventually. It's going to be one that's going to affect you know, is it COVID? Eh? COVID now freestyle now. COVID, COVID now freestyle. COVID now. You know, we know even they sure whether you get what I'm saying. But just imagine the way COVID struck the world. If it was something, you know, really, really dangerous and irreversible, everybody don't go now. But you, but let me ask you something. You coming? You being somebody that is, I mean, Oyo is like one of the foundations when it comes to Yoruba. Oyo, Oyo, now the ah, uh, now we be Yoruba, mm-hmm. you know, origin. origin you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Do you actually believe in money rituals? Does Does it work? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless. <laughs> I mean, that you, you, I mean, because this kind of question you ask me so. <laughs> that kind of place, if you see the authentic, you grew up there. Do right? I do I do I believe in black power in black magic? Yeah. I do. These things exist. I mean, I've mm. I've partied and my friends were hit with rings that will make them fall and and their tongues will come out yeah. like this and stuff like that. I've seen, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, yeah, yeah. of course. I've, I've, seen, I've, no, I've, I've, seen, I've seen that before. I've seen I've seen Magoon in action. You know, you know, some of the guys that I grew up with in my hometown. You know, one slept. I mean, one actually placed it on his girlfriend's body, thinking that the girlfriend will sleep with another guy. Then the the girl did not sleep with the guy eventually. Then he went to now sleep with his girlfriend and he hid his own magoon. And you know we, what magoon well, is? <laughs> thunderbolt. They call it thunderbolt. You know. That's thunderbolt in English, right? Like, so when you sleep at a moment, <laughs> see. <laughs> so bro, bro, wait, wait, wait. Let me just say something. See, Africa. Africa is powerful. Power day. Africa is powerful. Power day. Only if we know, only if we can evolve those powers into positive things that is when we actually you want ice we need more ice yeah. man can we get ice please that only if you can just imagine you go sleep with person wife yeah eh? 
and you go begin the you, you go the you the crowd like, like cop like yeah or you go there or you ask for some water. assault or you ask for water until, until you, you die you bust out you know that's crazy or you go that's, some assault that's an african thing yeah go and watch thunderbolts now i think yeah. um fully Flying has done a that, movie not Body. him, not him. Yeah. It, the, the movie is old. Thund- Very old. Thunderbolts. Yeah. No, not him. I Th- don't but, think but I know Thunderbolts is That was a deep movie. I cannot forget it yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I can't forget that movie. Okay. Teleporting. We did. We did. You see, know Teleporting? It, yeah. Offer. You see me, my, my son name is... Africans do those shit. My son name is Fanero. It means Ifanero. Yes. You know, I, I think we've had this uh, I conversation. I think we talked about it. About, uh, you know... So it means my great grandfather and the ones with mm-hmm. were Ifa worshippers, yes. you know. So trust me, I've seen, you know, there there was something my grandfather brought one time that he will put the incision on your body, and when snakes see you, they run away. And Damn. my father was against it because of his own Western religion. But that's anti snake. But eventually, <laughs> yeah, eventually, I don't know, because we used to go to my grandpa's place, you know, on our own. So mm-hmm. I don't know if he did it on some of my mm-hmm. siblings or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I just realized my siblings who couldn't kill a rat, who would run away from rat, they were using slippers to kill snake. Snakes. I mean, or, or one was in the shower, snake was in mm-hmm. at his back, and the snake went there until he finished having his bed before he saw it. Ah, see snake, we just kill snake. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? So, you know. I've seen how they made a case disappear from courts. You know, you get what I'm saying? I've <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we're not Bro. ready for that today. You know, I'm sorry. You know, that's not what we're talking about. But I know, as I am like this now, right now, I'm pro-African. You get what I'm saying? Mm. And I feel that in Yoruba, they say, I don't know if you know what they call lilies, strip of lilies, lilies something like yes, that. Lilies. The you leaves. Know, you know the leaves you know yeah. when you cut it is like water comes out of yeah, it you know yeah. so is that, that what they call it that, that's popo, you know tete popo, you know it's like you know it's always bringing water water you know. so whether wow. it rains or it doesn't rain you know tete, tete popo oh. is watery oh so, <laughs> <laughs> so they say tete, tete popo popo has water so it needs already yeah. before the rain fell so, yeah. so before the western religion came to africa thank you we had our own religions and you, nobody can tell me that my great grandfather is in hell because he didn't practice western religion yeah or my grandfather or you, you know what i'm saying so yeah but that's oh. a topic for another day but, but, no it's the topic of today don't believe in hell. what don't believe in hellfire do i believe in hellfire i'm in doubt I, I i do believe in it <laughs> no but i, I do, doubt i, I do mean, believe in it yeah. but i think your hell is on earth that's me my bro i don't think you're going to die and go to a fire that one does not happen forget it bro i don't think and same thing you're not going to die and go to heaven either <laughs> bro let me let me tell you something. What, recently hold on hold on <laughs> wait, wait. Re- recently hmm. one of my sons asked me daddy is it true that one thing, one thing he was asking about religion? Mm. And before I said anything, his mom was already correcting him. Mm. And I told her, I said, I said, you see, mm. this was the same way they imposed things on us. Mm. This boy doesn't know anything. Whatever you tell him now is what he will believe. believe. You, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an open book that you are trying to yeah, write in. And now he's curious. He's asking questions. Mm. You can't ask questions about my religion i'm not talking about another person's religion the religion that i practice to practice today which is christianity you you can ask questions about certain things they can say you, they will say you don't question god but the truth is that there are a lot of questions you can ask if you have brain i'll be like why 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 you get what i'm saying you, it, it will never make sense hmm. so hmm. when i was born if they say you'll be a good worshiper i will go be a good worshiper yeah you go be a far worshiper, I go be a far worshiper. You go be Muslim, I go be Muslim. You go be yeah. Christian, I go be Christian. Yeah. Now, because my papa, mama be Christian, now why they make me Christian? Yeah. Nobody asked for my opinion. I didn't even and, have an and, opinion. And, the f- and, 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 and tell you, and the fact that your name is Ifani Ro. Yeah. Right? These are the generation that actually oh, Ifa. define what Google is today. You know. 
because in Yoruba land we define what Google is. Yes. So I have shares in Google. You should. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you should, because <laughs> if, because Google, if, I will email Google. What <laughs> <am I? laughs> because if you look at it deep down, right in Yoruba land, if you want to ask anything that you felt like maybe it's not straightforward or you need a direction, mm. if I lemalo bre lo, confirm. What they that for? What they so yeah. Bye 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 bye. Yeah. Isn't that what Google does of now? Of course. Yeah. Divination, you know. Yeah, it's divination. You know, it shows you. Yeah. When a child is born, they will tell you how his life will go. What he must not eat when he's having his wedding, no noise. When this, they will tell you everything. Yeah. That's if I yeah. And if I worshippers used to wear white, they never used to do a K. If I can shake it, mm. they don't do a gabangebe. And mm. that's who I am. I believe in uh incarn incarnation or yeah. reincarnation. Reincarnation. Yeah, reincarnation. I believe in it. You know, as I am sitting right here, I can tell you Ogumola Concombato is present in this studio. I can today I can tell Defanio is present in this studio. Mm. Fuck we don't is present in this studio. Fani Yi is present in this studio. All my ancestors are present mm. in this studio. Mm. They are in me. I bear to buy look on the sun. A needle that has thread cannot go missing. If you can't find the needle, you find, find the thread. So I'm robbed. Mm. I feel I'm robbed of all these things. But I will not feel robbed, you know, because I love my ancestors. I met some of them. I know that despite the fact that some did not even believe in the Western religion, they were good people. Huh. So the true religion is love. The true yeah. religion is about being good. Uh, do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, this is another conversation for another day. You have to uh, call me again, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's way too deep, bro. It's way too deep. Like, I, I think I think we should make it that we should make it another. Day. Yeah, let's make a, another day. We have day. to open <laughs> this one from because I still see there's nobody. No, let me let me say there's nobody. Most of the people that I know that are, are exposed as you are, mm. they they've seen what it is like outside. Oh, of course, they would have changed their name to Jesu Nero. <laughs> or, or, or let Nero. me let me tell you something. Kept that. <laughs> my 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 sisters, right? I have five sisters, one older brother. You know, uh, so all my sisters are married. So one is married to Ogundiron family. Ogundiron, yeah. They've changed the name to Olu Adiron. Uh. <laughs> One is married to Oshutola. They changed the name to Oluwatola. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Nah. Oh, really? They must change Oluwatola. Like, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, bro. I, I know Christianity as a Christian. Yeah. I know the Bible. I pray. I speak in tongues. Wow. I pray and I cry at the same time. You mm. get what I'm saying? My relationship with my own God is different. Mm. I don't need any pastor or whatever to, to interpret that to me. Mm. I know that this is how God, my God is so full of humor. When he does something, sometimes I can even say, ah, Baba. Mm. Even as tipsy as I am now, mm. God can talk to me and I'll be like, ah, God, I don't see you again. Now, you this guy. Are mm. you the, do you understand what I'm saying? Mm. Because God lives in me. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a representation of God. You get what I'm saying? He created me in his own image. You get what I'm saying? You know. Uh. So he's not going to be angry with me for asking questions, for wanting to make sure that something is right or something is wrong. Or, do for you clarity. understand what I'm saying? You know? So mm. my God is my God. God, the only reason why I'm still a Christian today is because it's the only way I know to connect to God. Uh. If I knew how to connect to God through if I means I'll be doing if I but how am I gonna know it? If yeah, I even learn it now, yeah, it can never be as that, deep yeah, as those who were, the yeah. way I started learning Christianity. It's, I was yeah. a, in juvenile choir, I used to go to churches to sing, you know, I preached as a juvenile. Did you understand what I'm saying? So mm. it's it's different. But what I would not rob my children of is the uh the the, the privilege to know this but side and that nice. side. You know, if my child says he doesn't want to go to church, you are welcome. Fine. <laughs> you say, fine. You don't have to. If you don't, you say, ah, daddy, this day doesn't make sense. I'll <laughs> correct. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, but I will let them know that there's God. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Worship God. Even when you are not at church, even when you are not praying, worship God. Nobody is perfect. Mm. Nobody is perfect. 
All these are men of God. You can see now on our social media they open their hands yeah. now. Because the one way greedy way like money, although it's not that it's not a man of God though. Not that he can't pray for the sick and the sick will get healed though. But his weakness as a human being is that he likes money. Because it's human. Because it's human. Some now, now women they like. Mm. It does not mean that, because bro, as you are like this now, with a drink alcohol now, we can pray right here and God will answer. But many of them will not believe that. <laughs> oh, they think they I, believe, you they? know how they can write you because of tattoos but or yeah, earrings but, but, or whatever. But, but, but the same Jesus stunned. Wine into <laughs> alcohol. <laughs> and, and they shy you inside because <laughs> at the end of the day. <laughs> and they will rule it out now, but why would you turn water to wine if you know that Shayu would not make the party lively? Some people wrote the Bible. Of course we know. Just the same way me and you did now. We can have the book of Tyre of Anero, the book of Jabless. Yeah. The book of uh whiskey. <laughs> you know. <laughs> King, King David was an artist, a musician. The song of David, yeah, you know, David, the hymn, yeah. you get what I'm saying? He was writing lyrics, mm-hmm. you know, he was, he, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Same as Bob Marley. Yeah, yeah. Solomon. Fellas died long ago, but he's still living because a lot of people are, look at Whiskey Bonner, all of them are still feeding off what Fella did. Yeah. Most of the things he said when he was alive, d- despite the fact that nobody really, people didn't really believe him then, but he's dead now, they are still believing him. What was he? A prophet. Hmm. I'm a prophet. My mm. bro, I got to get out of this studio right now before <laughs> <laughs> before I start spitting, you know, because I'm with dogs. Uh, all right, Tayo. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's just give them your social media handle because I know a whole lot of people who want to follow. And all so. jobless followers, <laughs> you must follow me. Go because follow why? Tayo. <laughs> you got to follow me because yeah. I need followers. These brands don't want to endorse anybody if you don't have a lot of following. And not I don't know sense. what they want us to do. I, maybe I should show my balls or something. <laughs> but because if they want the personality, we have it. If they yeah. want the, the quality, we have it. Yeah. If they want the creativity in the brain, we have it. You get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. Like, we have the brain to sell brands. Yeah. I've sold brands. You get what I'm saying? I'm a fashion model. It's an international brand. Whatever I wear is yeah. a brand. If yeah. I'm drinking something, it's a brand. Mm-hmm. You know, the real swag, we have it. You get what I'm saying, bro? Yeah. But unfortunately, where we are right now, if you don't have numbers, they don't want to endorse you or, you know what? Um, even though the numbers are fake. Even though the numbers, numbers are, fake. are fake. That's what pisses me However. Off. Because you can easily <laughs> tell the fake ones. You can tell. Yet, you see 100,000 likes, three yeah. comments. Yeah. You can tell that. Uh, mm. Yeah. But anyway, while well, that's one year, mm. Edjo, please follow me. Um, my my handle is Ty of Anero. Instagram and Twitter, Ty of Anero. Uh, the last time I had followers on, I mean, like new followers on the Twitter was during Big Brother or oh, all those okay. years when I was buzzing. Are, are you on TikTok? I've never seen that app before. <laughs> and I don't think I'm missing it. I don't oh, even yeah. want to do it. Uh, it. It is the new thing, though. You it, have to. It, it is a new thing, but, but when am I going to cater yeah. to my lounge, Unsuku? When am Unsuku. I going to have time for my fashion brand, Tire of Anero on, on Jankara Online? When am I going to do my skincare line? Bro, you know I saw, saying, I I saw some shoes on your page. Yeah, bro. Those, 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 ones, those colorful ones. Bro. <laughs> yeah, you will see. Uh, not my own. Go- <laughs> bro, that shit acts sick. I was like, <laughs> I, was, I, 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 I actually thought maybe you were endorse, endorsing from someone. But when I started reading yeah. your right now, I would tell you, you yeah. take those shoes. When is your birthday, bro? Um, Next month. For real? Yeah, next month. Okay. Yeah. You want to do a photo shoot? I don't mind. Okay. Um, I don't mind. Uh, let me make you uh, maybe like two outfits and, you know, shoes. You let them, you know. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Follow Tayo, fi- uh, Tayo Fanero Fanero, on all yeah. platforms. Mm-hmm. And see you next time. Fuckers. Bye. Oh, oh. My name is Jobless. Jobless.